So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We're going to be looking at the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team trailer. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to touch touch base, touch something. Uh, no, we'll touch base on this, uh, of what I've been doing. So I have made a Discord server, all right? Finally done it purely for this Road to Glory series that I'm still working on. I'm hoping to get it underway, folks, on Monday, all right? I still have to sort out the XP and the milestones. I, look, I've put a lot of pressure on myself to do this, and I was sitting there the other day, and I was like, cool, blimey, I don't know if I can do this. I, I'm going to get it going, don't worry. It's just my, it's my procrastination phase. But I think this is going to be a good fun series. You know, the ability to get new sponsors and upgrade, uh, you know, attire, kits, boots, get new stadiums as well. I think it just adds something different. You know, this isn't super realistic playthrough, but it's going to be a bit of fun. Okay, that's the purpose. So stick with me. Over the weekend, I'm hopefully going to record on Sunday, out for Monday. But please do head over to the Discord server. That is where I will keep to you guys all up to date during the season. Like how the XP is going, how the next milestone's going, who's the top scorers, all that stuff. I will post in the Discord server. And I think it's just the best way to keep things... Uh, you know, in the loop for all you guys watching. Right, so that's that out of the way. Um, that's what I wanted to mention. All right, let's dive into this. Now, I'm going to run this this trailer at 0.75 speed, so three quarters of the speed, so I can read what this is all about at the same time, so you get to listen to me and not the trailer, because I'm more fun to listen to. All right, so, and the reason I'm putting this out, because I'm not an online person, by the way, is just because I like... Well, I want to give Konami ideas, you know? And and I like the way EA do their trailers. They're to the point. They tell you what you're going to get. Yeah, it's marketing, of course, but it still works. Um, and, you know, there's so much more depth in Ultimate Team. So new ways to progress and compete. More customization on and off the pitch, folks. And the return of football's most memorable players. And then it says, welcome to Inside FIFA's Ultimate Team. So this is a bloke right here. He's the executive producer on FIFA. And this guy is also the producer on foot. And they're here to talk a little bit about the game mode itself. So there we go. So at the beginning of this trailer, it just tells you um, what they have added or what is in the trailer itself. So you've got division rivals. You've got rewards. Take note of that one, uh, Konami. That's what we like to see, rewards. You've got elite division. You've got foot champions. You've got foot heroes, stadium customization and co-op public matchmaking all right so that's kind of what they've been working on there's the usual cgi top corner bins finish so let's dive into this so I, i've got it slowed down as i say so this way i can actually read this without having to wet myself while i'm trying to do so so building your squad and competing on the pitch are the heart of fifa ultimate team uh, and in FIFA 22, they've completely changed the competitive landscape. So they've got Division Rivals has an all-new seasonal progression system uh, with win streaks, ranks, and new elite division for the best players in the world. Uh, how you climb the ladder has completely changed, by the way. So divisions are now made up of stages and ranks. And when a win will advance you to one stage. And if you're on a win streak, you'll progress even further. Uh, losers will move you back a stage unless you're on a checkpoint, which safeguards your progress and keeps you at the right level of competition for your skill level. So there you go. They made it a little bit easier. Uh, and seasons are also... What was that? What was that, mate? What would you say? Uh, a new addition. So divisions are reset at the end of each season, and where you finish will determine where you start in the next season. So there you go. Boom. Straight off the bat, you know, they probably thought about the community feedback and they've said we're going to make it a little bit easier to maintain your progress. But you're still going to get those tasty rewards, of course. And um, so here we go. Rewards are a massive part of Division Rivals. And the opportunity to earn rewards each week. In addition, you'll also earn rewards at the end of the season as well. Uh, winning matches each week will increase your rank within a division. And qualify you to earn better weekly rewards. Every match you play will count towards your seasonal milestones, folks. And you'll get end-of-season rewards based on the number of matches you played, regardless of whether you win or lose. There it is. So it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's all about just playing the game, not throwing a controller about, uh, and enjoying yourself. 
So, Elite Division goes beyond Division 1 uh, and gives the games more skilled players a unique space to compete in. And in the Elite Division, the one who ranks in the stage is Leader. You'll play purely for skill rating and a position on the global leaderboard, and you'll earn rewards by competing at the top level. Ultimately, with the potential to qualify to the FIFA Global Series as well. Beautiful. Right, so we've got Foot Champions. is now a two-tier competition uh, that works around your schedule. Start off with the Foot Champions playoffs during the week. It's a chance to qualify for the Foot Champions final. When you are ready, you'll take part in finals during the weekend. It's a points-based reward system with some of the best rewards on offer in Foot. Once again, it's all about the rewards. As we know, FIFA Ultimate Team isn't just about the game's current superstars. There is uh, Mr. Gary, uh, not Gary, not Gary Cahill, Tim Cahill. Cahill. <laughs> Let's reset that. <sighs> Tim Cahill. It's not Cahill, Ricky. It's Tim Cahill. Yeah, I'm not going to show that again. Might get copyright for the uh, the visual. Tim Cahill. Why am I saying Cahill? Cahill. I'm sorry, I've got Will on the brain. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So heroes give you new squad building opportunities with league specific. Still going too fast for me, mate. League specific chemistry that ties the real world club at the time of their heroic display. So there's Dudek pulling out the big guns. Um, for, uh, you've got Fernando Morientes there uh, and all the players um, to choose from. There it is. Melito, Keen. You've got Cahill. You got Pele, you got Dempsey, Gomez, Ginola. I used to live near him, actually. Not too far. Um, Colaire, you've got Aljabar, you've got Rickard, Solskjaer, one absolute legend. Uh, Campos, Fernando Morientes, Di Natale, you got Cole. Uh, who's that? Can't see him. Some Colombian, Serbian, uh, Humberg, and uh, Dudek. You guys probably know who they are. You know what? Let's have a look. There it is. Cordoba and uh, Mr. Boy. Mr. Boy. Job done. So, Foot Heroes chemistry is unique, providing a club link to any player in the same league along with a normal league link. Foot Heroes will link with each other based on the fact that they are in the same Foot Heroes club. And Foot Heroes also get the same nationality bonus as other players get. So, Foot Heroes are one of a kind. Uh, now, they talk about stadium customization. I don't really need to talk too much about this. You just. You have a lot more stuff to do. That's the basic premise here. You can see the things you've added all across the stadium. Give yourselves a little bit more personalization. I mean, that looks pretty crazy. But it's cool, isn't it? You know, it's stuff that... There's no look, There's no real customization on pets, is there? Or eFootball now, online. Yeah, you can put your own team with your own badge if you want and logo, but you can't create your own stadiums. You can't customize things on the pitch. It's just they haven't done anything, Konami, in so long with my club. There has to be a big push this year. And if there isn't, as we keep saying, I don't know what they've been doing for the last couple of years. Whereas EA are doing this and they're pushing the, the level of quality, you know, further. Off the pitch, so to speak. So they've got new kits, you no know, TIFOs available to unlock throughout the year. Plus, find your perfect combination more easily this time around. So you can go through here. You can go for uh, a lot easier search for functionality. There we go. Uh, and then we move on to co-op public matchmaking. Uh, is a new way to experience foot co-op. You can play with other members of the foot community and try out new players and squad spots specifically for the mode. Foot 22 brings back all the features that make Foot our most popular game mode. Well, the old most popular with the old revenue coming in, folks, because they make an absolute bucket load. Um, so there we have it. That was the trailer in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys make of it below. Uh, and of course, if you pre-order by August 11th, well, it's too late now, um, you get an untradeable Foot Heroes player from December 1st. Ah, well, we've missed it, unfortunately, by the time this video comes out. Um, that's actually a decent perk, to be fair. An untradeable foot heroes player. Yeah, he's untradeable, but still, would be nice to get a good quality player straight off the bat. And anyway, yeah, you look at these trailers, and we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of good stuff coming, folks, because Gamescom's a few weeks away, remember? So Konami are going to be there. I'm sure EA are going to be there, showcasing things they haven't showcased. 
But I've been impressed. I have been impressed of EA this year of what they've shown. You know, every week there's something new. You've had career mode. You've had ultimate team now. There's beer, the pro clubs they've had. It's just keeping the content fresh, keeping people excited for the game. There's also a closed beta or beta out now. I can't get my hands on it, but, you know, you can play it early. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. We shall return shortly. The, the, the videos will be light, as I say, over the next few days. But once we get the Road to Glory series going, I'm looking forward to it. We'll bash through it, and hopefully it will be a good bit of fun. Uh, and then we'll get FIFA 22 career mode going at some point. And then eFootball comes out. And we'll just play it by ear. So there we have it. Anyway, until next time, subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you enjoy foot. If you don't, still leave a comment. But until next time, take care.